Welcome back to your first ever Rust project. In this project, you're going to build your first Rust to-do application. So anybody can come and they can add their to-do list. So click on this add and it will be added. You can add as many to-do list as you want. So I will want to add this. Let's add a couple of more quickly. And I will go with this one, add. And let's call hey and call gym life. So I have added these many to-do list. If the task is completed, you can mark it complete and it will change the state in our backend server as well. You can mark it complete. If you want to delete any to-do list, you can simply click on delete. It will delete. Or if you want to add more, you can click here and you can add more. If you want to do the editing in the to-do list, you can do that. You can click on this edit. And here you have to simply retype the tasks which you want to assign. So I'll say blockchain developer and click on this update. And it's going to update our to-do list. And you can simply click on mark. If you want to do the filtration and find a specific to-do list, you can simply search for it. Type gym and it's going to filter out the entire data. You can simply go back to the normal, all the list. So every single thing is working absolutely fine. And this is one of the projects which you have to include if you really want to build a strong portfolio. If you do the responsive check of this application, it's 100% responsive for all the different screen sizes. So this is how it's going to look on the very small size. If you go back to little bigger, this is how it's going to look. If you go to a little bigger, this is how it's going to look. It's pretty good. In this project, you will learn that how you can build a backend server using Rust programming language. It will teach you every single thing about the data structure, data algorithm, and how you can code program in Rust. So this is what exactly we're going to code in the complete project. Again, I'm telling you, you will learn a lot of things. So we are using Rust as a backend server. In the front end, we are using Next.js. So there is a lot of things coming up in this project. And this is what exactly you're going to code. So you can add as many to do. You can add as many to do and you can see how quickly this data is getting updated into our backend server. We have a nice this overflow effect we are having. You can mark the stake and check all of this completed or you can simply click on this all deleted. That's wonderful. So right now we don't have any to do list because we have deleted all that. So hope you guys have understood that what exactly we're going to build. So see you in the project. Once you will download the final source code, you will get a zip file, unzip that, and you will get this folder and that you will have all the files and all the folder for this particular project. So open this one in your VS code. And here I have opened this and that you will have this two folder startup file and complete source code of the project. And we have this readme file in which we have all the instruction that what are the packages we are using and what are the requirements you need to fulfill to run the project, which I'm going to cover in this video. So simply close this one. Now, before we execute, our final source code, we have to check couple of requirement. We have to do couple of installations. So open up your terminal. And first thing we have to check our node version that what node version we have installed in our system. So type node dash V and type NPM dash V. So this is the NPM version and node version I'm using and I'm not having any issue with this particular version because this version is very much compatible with all the libraries we have included in our package JSON file in our project. So if you have the higher version or the latest version or the lower version, you can first execute with that. But if you encounter any error, then make sure to downgrade or upgrade to this particular version and it will work absolutely fine. So that's the first requirement we have in our project. So simply close, clear this up. Now comes to the second and the most important tool, which is Rust. So we have to check that we have Rust installed in our system or not. So I do have Rust in my laptop and I can able to execute the program. But if you don't have Rust installed, then you can simply come back to the Rust book. And here you will find all the information regarding this Rust programming language and all the contract we have written, all the programs we have written. If you have any confusion, you can simply come back to the sections and you can simply read about it, which obviously I'm going to cover extensively in the project which you can also watch. So this is what we have. So simply come back to the installation and here they have given all the steps which you have to fulfill to do the installation. So if you want to install in Linux or OS, then all you have to do is to simply run this particular command to install. And if you have a Windows system, then you can simply click here and you can check the requirement that how you can install in Windows operating system. But I have Mac, so I'm going to use this one. And here you will find all the instructions. So if I want to check my Rust version, I'm going to simply copy this one. And I'm going to paste here and hit enter. So currently I'm using this particular Rust version. And the best part of this Rust installation, when you will do this installation, is going to install the cargo package as well. It's an inbuilt tool which we're going to use to do the compilation and do all those things. So it will come within the tool. So make sure to install properly. And if you come back here, 
you will find all the methods which you can check if you want to update you can update if you want to uninstall you can uninstall that's all you will find here so if I want to uninstall so I can simply take this one come back here and I'm going to simply paste here and hit enter here it will ask me whether I want to uninstall or not so I'll say yes hit enter and it's going to remove the package from my system so rust is successfully uninstalled from my system so if I want to check whether do I have rust or not so I can simply go back and I can check so right now you can see this particular command not found because I have uninstalled rust from my package so right now I'm in the main directory I can simply click here and I can go into my this particular directory so I can simply able to interact with the project so here I'm into this particular directory now I have to reinstall the rust so I will come back here and I'm going to simply come back here simply grab this entire portion till here and paste and hit enter here it's downloading our rust and just wait in few seconds the installation will complete and this is the exact thing you have to do so here it's asking us that whether we want to continue with the normal installation customization or cancel so I'll go with one simply press one and hit enter it's going to do the installation and here the installation is happening just wait soon the installation will complete this package is little heavy so it will take few seconds just wait in this installation we are importing all the required packages which rust utilize internally when we build the program so this takes a little bit type you can see these packages are quite heavy we got the cargo we got supply we got this react docs that's all we getting into in this particular command so a lot of useful tools you will have when you will do this installation so finally we done the installation now all we have to do is to simply clear our terminal and now we have to simply close the VS code reopen the file so come back here I'm going to simply click on this and I'm on the same directory because this is a very important thing which you have to do because this is going to load the entire rust environment into our current repository so we can able to utilize it because we have just installed newly so let's get into the portal so we are into this particular directory now if I check the rust version so I can come back here and from here I can able to see the version which I have so you can simply keep this rust paste here and hit enter you will able to see that which version we are using you can check the cargo as well so you can simply type cargo and this is going to give you all the commands all inbuilt tools we have here which we can utilize during our development so if you want to check the version of cargo here we have you can simply come back here clear terminal type cargo version and it's going to give you which version you are using so we are using this latest one in our project so this is how you can install the cargo so these are the couple of requirements you need to have in your system so we are done with that now we are already into this particular directory now we have to install all of these packages because these are the front end we are using next.js and we are using xcs for interacting with our backend server we have this react icons web3 model that's all we have here which we are utilizing here or you can simply ignore this particular one web3 model because we are not using web3 model you can remove that so I'm going to simply bring it up and I'm going to simply do the installation so I'll say npmi and this is going to install all the packages which we have here and that's going to be available in our node module so we have this file now I'm going to simply clear my terminal now let me give you a quick walkthrough about the program we have written in our rust so I'm going to simply close it here we have this rust folder in that we have the backend server so come back to the source in that we have written the entire source code of our to do applications so we are importing all the libraries for generating the id this one is for the time we have standardization this is the cross origin we are handling here here we have the struct here we have the struct so that's all struct this is the function we have it's an async function this is the add to do function we have here we have the update function and here we have this delete function and we have this particular main function which is going to execute our cross header and that's the entire endpoint we have designed these are the routes we have so this is the main route if you want to delete or edit a specific to do that's the route we have built all we have to do is to simply pass the id and it's going to do the modification and we're going to run this particular server on this particular port so this is our backend port our frontend port is going to be different and the backend port is going to be different so this is the entire code which we have coded in the project so i'm going to simply close here come back come back to the cargo and here you will find all the dependency we are using in our project so that's all you will find cross uid and that's all we have here so you don't need to do anything in here now we have to run our backend and the front end together so we can interact and create our to-do list so first you have to do is open up your terminal we are already into this particular directory now we have to simply split our terminal 
and I'm going to type this particular command. So we have to get into the Rust folder because we have to initialize our backend. So type cd Rust. We are into the Rust directory now. All we have to do is to simply type this particular command: car geo cargo run. That's the command you have to type, and it's going to build and compile our entire code base it's going to initialize and download all the necessary requirement which you need to have to execute our project and it's going to build a build command and it's going to start our backend server so we can easily able to interact with the front end and here it's got started so just wait it's going to take few seconds we have a lot of file to be initialized and that's all you are finding here because we are using a couple of libraries for handling multiple things so webhooks we have cross origin and here finally our server is running absolutely fine so it's running on to do so everything is working fine there are no problem we have now we can come back on this terminal and we are into this particular directory now we can simply run this particular command our front end server so this is the command we have npm run dev type npm run dev hit enter and here it started our front end part we got our next you don't need to worry about it simply leave it as it is and here our front end is started now come back to the front end and go back here and click on this local 3000 because this is on which our front end is running right now there is no data available that's why you can see here we have this button add item search and right now there is no to-do list so let's add our very first to-do list so you can come back here and you can simply add so i already added a couple of so i'm going to go with the very first ones click here and click on this add and here we got our first to-do list if you reload the page we'll have the data because this data is coming from our back end you will see this is the text we have added right now this is the time when we have added from here you can mark check means completed or you can uncomment from here you can able to delete if you want to add more you can simply add that click on add and you will add here if you want to do the edit you can do that i'll say amit many to do you want to add you can add as many as you want it looks absolutely fantastic 100 percent working you can simply come back here you can add it you can tick mark untick mark you can mark it complete you can unmark you can also do the filtration you can type a myth and it's going to filter the entire to do and it will give you the relevant to do which you want so you can search that if you're going to remove that it's going to filter out the data and it's going to give you the all the to do so this is working absolutely fine if you come back here it's 100% responsive for different screen sizes so this is how it's going to look on a mobile device this looks good so this is what exactly we're going to build you can add as many as you want there is no problem you can update you can delete that's all you can do I'm going to add a couple of to do's very quickly and here we have all the to do's which have added so you can simply mark complete and we have this nice animation you can delete any one so if you don't like this one you can simply delete that you can delete that or you can delete this bigger one or you can edit i'll say let's type something this small hey dollar and it's updated you can simply mark uncomplete so this is all the function we have built in our rust backend so if we take you back into my rust code so this is the entire code we have coded together and when you will run the backend code in the Rust, it's going to create a couple of folder and file, which you don't need to worry. So all of this compilation we have. So come back in the source. Here we have this one. Close this one. And here we have built all the functionalities. This one is for get. So this will give us all the to-do which user will create in our platform. We'll get that. Here we have the to-do for adding. Here we have the update to-do function. Here we have delete. And here we have the other functions. So that's all you will find here. So I hope you guys have understood that what exactly we have coded and how you have to execute this final code. So it's absolutely perfect. This is one of the projects which you can include to show and add in a portfolio to show the understanding that you know how to code Rust, how to build program in Rust programming language. So this is what exactly you will get. You can add as many to do you want to add. If you want to do the filter, you can do that very easily. And it's going to have the filter so you're going to have all of that this looks absolutely great and i hope you guys have understood that what exactly you have to do when you will get the final source code you can add as many to do as you want and this is one of the projects which you have to include in your project to have a better understanding that what exactly takes to develop an application using the rust programming language so when you will take the final source code this is the exact step you have to follow this is how you have to install and run the project in your system and for a better understanding you can simply follow the complete project in that we have discussed every single thing step by step which you can take idea from there that what these are stand for 
it has the similar structure we have this packages libraries which we are utilizing so everything is explained in the complete project so make sure to follow that but when you will get the final source code this is how you have to execute so that's the only thing from my end i hope you guys have understood that what exactly you have to do and how exactly it's work with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye bye